Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we are at uh, a new version of Firefox tonight, or today, as uh, we have on April 11th, 2023, uh, Firefox 112 that has been a release. So you can go and check it out if you want uh, by going to the Firefox browser in the upper right corner Amber menu. Go into help and you go into about Firefox and here you will be at 112.0. So what's new in this version of Firefox that we have now? Well, one of the first things that you have is if you go into the password fields when you actually are checking out passwords or entering any information and the password uh, will show up, you can now reveal the password by just right-clicking on the password field. There's also a, uh, if you're in Linux, the uh, Ubuntu Linux users particularly, you can now import browser data from the Chromium Snap package. If you use a tab list panel in the tab bar, you can now close tabs by just middle-clicking icons or items in that list. You've always been able to actually open, if you use the Shift-T or Command-Shift-T, so a Control-Shift-T or Command-Shift-T uh, on Mac, you were able to actually restore the previous session uh, or the previous um, shortcut that was actually closed. If there's no more tabs that can be opened, now you can also um, have the same session reopen. So all the multiple tabs of that session will open up. There's also uh, tracking parameters that are removed in the URL. So um, what happens is they're removing further information and tracking parameters from the uh, address from every website that you visit. So this will actually uh, enhance the uh, protection against cross-site tracking. And uh, finally, there's enable of the overlay of software decoded video on Intel GPUs. And it improves the video downscaling quality and reduces GPU usage. But there's one thing that they're not talking much about that is in here. And this is something that has been happening for ages. And I mean, when I say ages, I mean this is something that's been a major uh, problem for five years. They're mentioning it here kind of just, you know, as a casual thing. For the last five years, when you were using Firefox 112, or Firefox, sorry, there was uh, often a higher CPU and GPU usage that was showing up. And it never been addressed, really. And Microsoft and Mozilla actually worked together this time. And in this update, uh, 112, you now have an improved um, GPU and CPU usage less, um, you know, CPU usage every time Firefox is there. And it's, it should be technically a little more fluid. Um, you know, it's one of those things that sometimes you're like, yeah, why didn't you do this before? But apparently it's like it's a, a joint thing. It, they, there is, has to be com communication between the two for this to be fixed. But it is apparently fixed now. So uh, Firefox 112 is now available. If that's not interesting enough for you, well, what could be interesting enough is the security flaws. 23 separate security vulnerabilities have been fixed. So if you're a Firefox user, I think it's important to actually make the update. The uh, security updates on the 23, there's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Let me just check out if there's another one. Nine, ten, eleven different high severity security flaws, 
including some memory safety bugs and uh, some uh, crashing and the different bugs that uh, has memory corruption and so on that could actually make you vulnerable, basically, by the uh, perfect attack. And this is on every platform, including uh, Mac OS. So it's important to actually update your Firefox for this reason. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.